did, in fact, request this. <laughs> ben is being cantankerous, but yeah. Um, <laughs> I know. We're all so shocked. But, um, uh, goodness, what do I say about this? My dad uh, actually is very much the, the, the geek of the next generation up in my family. And I remember, you know, he would sit down with us and watch Monty Python and watch, you know, uh, Doctor Who and all the rest. And my brother and I thought this was the coolest stuff ever, Red Dwarf, Blink 7. And my mom would look in and go, oh, and just like walk out again. I mean, she, she in her own way, I think, has, has a certain affection for it, but Dad lives this stuff. So, um, I've, I've still got his habit of looking at the BBC uh, news and space feed and whenever they, you know, of course they have new discoveries every day, basically, these days. And um, I always tune in and see what kind of cool asteroids they've discovered, etc., etc. And I feel kind of... What? What? Why are you stealing it? <laughs> anyway, so, you know, we are all very, very fortunate in that we lived in the first time in human civilized history when there were 10 planets in our solar system, which is kind of cool. Um, the last uh, little while they keep, they keep discovering more and trying to figure out whether they count as planets or not. But for a short time we had uh, Sedna as well as Pluto and all the rest of them. And then Sedna got demoted, the International Astronomical Union said, no, no, she's not quite big enough. And then they demoted Pluto at the same time, which I think is very unfair. <laughs> and they, they keep going back and forth. But anyways, for a short time we had 10 planets and the 10th one um, they follow the normal um, uh, astronomical conventions, is that you always uh, do planets as a creation deity, you know, a major deity. And I mean, the vast majority of them, of course, are Greco-Roman, and they chose a Canadian goddess. And I thought, how cool is that? Sedna is actually an Inuit creation story. And it goes like this. Sedna was a beautiful Inuit girl in the very far, far north, back in the ages. Now one day she and her father went out in a double kayak, each with their own paddle, on a long voyage across the empty ocean. For in those days the ocean had no life. It was simply black water beneath and ice above. So their presence on the surface attracted the attention of a storm who lived in the far horizon. Well, curious as storms are, it came and it started to swirl around the little boat, playing with this new toy it had found. Sensing their danger, Sedna and her father turned to the boat and started to make for the safety of the far harbor. Sedna had a great heart, and so she put all of her strength behind each stroke of the paddle, but her father was cowardly and craven. He looked back and he thought to himself, this boat would go faster if it would light her. And so without warning, he reached out, he grabbed his daughter, and he threw her into the icy deep. Well, that could have been the end of the tale. It wasn't. Sedna had such a great heart, she swam behind the boat and grabbed a hold and wouldn't let it advance. Her father panicked. He grabbed the paddle. He started to hit her fingers to make them release, but she refused. And she wouldn't have. But finally, the terrible cold turned her fingers into clear icicles. And with one tap, the ice shattered, and she fell fingerless down into the deep, with these little shards following after. Now that could have been the end of the tale, but it wasn't. Sedna had such a great heart, she looked around herself in the empty blackness and thought, if this is to be my new home, I don't want to be alone. And so with a force of will, she turned each one of those fingers into a new animal that had never existed before. They became the first whales, walruses, seals, all the creatures that even today still swim with her in the deep. Sedna roamed the day. The cold forgotten day. No one wants to be alone. Said no roam the day. A cold forgotten day. No one wants to be alone. From her hands they fell. Children of the ocean swell. With ice is offered them a name and seals they all became and laughing took a coach of devil's light Sedna roamed the 
Daughters, they became 